Covering St. John's County tonight, Summer Haven residents met with county leaders as they work to come up with a solution to beach erosion problems. Yeah, many homes continue to be at risk, especially after damage from recent storms. News for Jack's reporter Renee Beninati was at tonight's meeting. She's joining us live in St. John's County along old A1A. Renee. Mary, many of those homes at risk are right here along old A1A. Uh, they're already seeing the impacts from this beach erosion. You can see that this road is closed here. They're worried that if a solution isn't found sooner rather than later, that their homes could be washed away given how close they are to the ocean. Erosion is a problem people who live in the Summerhaven area have been dealing with for years. Video from Drone 4 showing you the extent of the damage following Hurricane Nicole. Nicole was a water event. Sky Taylor has lived along old A1A for 14 years. Do you get nervous living so close to the beach now? That rock wall protects me. I have replaced my doors and windows so the hurricane standard up to the latest hurricane standard and I sandbag. In the past, the county has spent money to restore dunes along the coast just for them to get washed away during the next storm. Melanie Barna says they've helped spare her home, which is right along the beach. The storm surges concern me. Um, I anticipate water getting in the bottom half of the house, um, but thank God the last two um, Nothing happened. Now the county is trying to find a long term solution. What do you do to not protect A1A? Because the water's coming. The water's coming. A town hall meeting was held Tuesday night where residents had the chance to talk to coastal engineers working to come up with possible solutions. The goal of the study is to get away from this piecemeal approach and to identify a long term solution that's going to um, you know, stabilize the beach and keep the river flowing. Possible solutions include putting up seawalls, dune restoration, to buying out properties and problem spots. Would you consider moving? No, not really. I'm old enough so that the chances of, of nature uh, removing everything down here before I'm gone are probably pretty slim. There is no quick or easy fix because a lot of factors come into play from the costs to the extent of property damage. The county says another town hall like tonight's will be held where they will get feedback from residents. Engineers say they will take that feedback and come up with other solutions to eventually present before the county commission. Reporting live in St. John's County, Renee Beninati, Channel 4, The Local Station.